So hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are doing fine. So today we have Umang with us. He have applied for BBA General and BBA Finance and Accountancy course in Christ University. He has recently appeared for the interview. So let us hear from him that how his experience was. But before that, please Umang introduce yourself first. Um, good evening. My name is Umang Kedia. I am currently studying in class 12. I am from Commerce Stream. I am currently studying in Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir School, Surat and I have applied for BBA and BBA Finance and Accountancy course in Christ University. Okay, Umang. So, Umang, tell us that how was your first experience of giving a professional interview? Um, um, the interview experience was decent. Um, it was my first professional interview, so I was a bit nervous and a bit scared in, in the beginning. But as the interview um, went forward, the interviewers made me comfortable. So, I won't say that it was a bad experience, but it was a decent Okay, Umang. So, Umang, when was your interview scheduled? Uh, my interview was scheduled on 7th of April. Okay, so both of your uh, 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 interview was scheduled on 7th? Yes. Okay, Umang. So, Umang, how your interview started? What was their first question to you? Um, I, had, uh, appeared in, I had appeared to interviews and in both of them, the first question was to introduce myself. Okay, so after your introduction, did they cross question you about what you said in your interview, like regarding your name or your family background or your interests or your subjects, anything? Um, no, they directly asked um, why I was applying into Christ University and why I was um, pursuing management for my future. Okay, so they wanted to basically know your what is your vision after yes. joining the BBA. Okay. So Oman, after that, what was their next question? Like, did they focus on the academics more or the general knowledge more? What was their question? Um, they, um, they asked me questions both about my academics and general knowledge. Um, first of all, they asked me about my subjects in class 12. And then they asked me which was my favorite subject. And I said business studies. So they basically asked me about principles of management, about marketing. And there were a few questions. And in finance and accountancy interview, um, they asked me about on basic questions of accounting and a journal entry. Okay, so on the basis of what you are applying, like yes. the course, they are asking you the question, like yes. in BBA general, as you said that your favorite subject is BST, yes. so they ask you on that, and in finance and accountancy, they didn't ask you that what, which is your favorite they subject, questions about they directly accounts. ask you about accountancy, yes. they thought that as you are applying for accountancy, you might be have interest yes. in accountancy. Yes. Okay, Oman. So, Oman, after that, what was the next question? Did they, oh, what were the questions they asked you in your general sense? Um, um, in BBA interview, they did not ask me general knowledge questions, okay. but in finance and accountancy, they asked me about European Union and they asked me my, my views regarding the Russia and Ukraine crisis and questions were around. Okay, so basically they asked you about the GP question, but that too all was also related to the economy yes. only because that is affecting mm -hmm. the economic yes. Yes. Okay, so apart from that, what was there another questions or any other general questions or anything? Um, no, my interview was uh, short. It was conducted for a short period of time. So after these, um, they conducted my micro presentation. Okay, so like were the interviewers in hurry to end up your interview or uh, it was kept short? They were calm, but they kept it short. They were calm, but they kept it short. They were not in a hurry, but um, they wanted to um, wind up the things quickly, but uh, in a calm manner. Okay, so um, what were your micro presentation topic in BBA? What did they ask you? Um, in BBA, they asked me about business ethics and responsibilities, okay. and in finance and accountancy. Um, sorry, in business in BBA, they asked me about how agriculture impacts our economy, and in finance and accountancy, they asked me about how business ethics and responsibilities. So here they are not focusing about the curriculum you are yes. going for. Yes. Because as we see, they could have asked about the impact of economy and accountancy, but they didn't focus on that. Okay, so any instruction given by them about the micro presentation that how many time you need to prepare and how much time you need to speak? Um, they just informed me that um, you can think for 15 to 45 seconds and whatever, whenever you are ready, you may inform us. Um, there was this one incident in um, uh, BBA financial accountancy interview. Um, I asked one of the interviewers that if I could write down points which came into my mind so he interrupted me and told me that um, I should not waste my time writing points and instead I should think and um, focus on developing points. So they were a bit strict yes, regarding the time that yes. they want to end up in yes. time. So what, uh, that incident did that impact your micro presentation do you think so? Um, uh, I would say yes a bit because um, 
confronting them and when they opposed me and um, denied me of doing something which I wanted so I I was a, a bit panicked in the beginning but you know, my presentation was decent So how long your micro presentation was? Um, the micro presentation was around 40 to 50 seconds and when I was speaking um, they interrupted me and then said that that's okay Okay, so Uman, please tell the viewers that how did you prepare for your interviews? What were the things you kept in mind while preparing your interview? And what were the things you focused majorly on your preparation? Um, while preparing for my interview, um, um, firstly the pro talent team conducted mock interviews for us which were very beneficial because they asked questions which I generally asked and they also focused on preparing us for micro presentation and different topics so that was really beneficial for me and other than that I also um, watched, uh, watched some videos on YouTube for preparing myself that students videos yes, who have yes. guided that what um, kind of questions are there yes and I also wrote down some points about my introduction so that I could memorize them and so what do you think according to you what is the most difficult part in a Christ University interview um, I would say the questions which are asked in which you have to think and respond at the moment spontaneously and also the micro presentation part because you have only 30 seconds to think and answer so that I would say is a bit difficult okay. So um, many students have been asked the situational questions also yes. so have you been also asked about the situational questions where yes. they gave you a situation and wanted to know that what would you do in such situation? Uh, yes, uh, in one of my interviews I was given a situation situational questions um, I was asked that if I was um, in the top management of a company that, and if there is a conflict or if there is any kind of deviation in the work performed by the uh, managers then what would be your basic uh, guideline to them or how would you tackle that situation Okay, so that was very different yes. which we have prepared yes. for So how did you put that question? Were you got, did you got nervous in that situation or how um, did you No, I would not say that I was nervous because this was a very general question I. Um, um, I told them how I would tackle the situation by identifying the problem and um, I, uh, advising my managers how to solve it so it was not a bit difficult Okay, Uman. so Uman, any advice you would like to give the students who are still going to appear that third round of interview then how should they prepare for the interview or what things they should keep in mind um, I would firstly advise that whenever you are giving the interview don't get panicked um, you should speak confidently even if you don't know the answer just respond that you do not know the answer um, uh, if you are nervous you should not answer in a hurry just stay calm and also before the, before the interview try giving mock interviews either to your family members or uh, any acquaintance of yours Okay, Oman. So, Oman, thank you for coming here and sharing your experience. It will help a lot of people who are going to watch this video. So, we thank you for that. And also, uh, as well, we would like to wish best for your future that you get your dream uh, campus. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.